Hello and welcome. Our task for today is to solve the system of equations on the board. Now, when we look at the second equation, we will see that we have a common factor of xy in the two terms on the left-hand side of this equation. So we can factorize xy and we have that x squared y divided by xy is x and xy squared divided by xy is y and of course this still remains equal to 30. Now observe the first equation and the third equation. You will see some similarities. You will see x plus y, x plus y. You will see xy, xy. So let a be equal to x plus y and m be equal to x, y. Now with this, we can write the first equation as a plus m is equal to 11. And we can write the third equation as a times m is equal to 30. Now you can see that we have a much simpler system of equations that we can solve for values of a and m. From the first equation, we have that a is equal to 11 minus m. And we can substitute this for a in the second equation. So where we have a, we replace it with 11 minus m. And of course, we have m is equal to 30. Opening up the bracket, we have 11m minus m squared is equal to 30. Now, sending the both terms on the left-hand side of the equation over to the right-hand of the equation, we have that 0 is equal to 30 minus 11m plus m squared. Now, we have a quadratic equation that we can factorize and solve for values of m. So, and the two factors that will multiply themselves to give us 30 and add themselves to give us minus 11 are, we have m here, minus 5 and minus 6. Because minus 5 times minus 6 is plus 30. And minus 5 plus minus 6 is minus 11. So from here, we have that m minus 5 is equal to 0, or m minus 6 is equal to 0. We have that m is equal to 5 or 6. Now we go back to this equation to find the values of a. So when a, or rather when m is equal to 5, a is equal to 11 minus 5 which is 6. And when m is equal to 6, a is equal to 11 minus 6, which is 5. So we have two values now. When m is equal to 5, a is equal to 6. And when m is equal to 6, a is equal to 5. What we do is to come back to these equations. So, when a is equal to 6, m is equal to 5. And when a is equal to 5, m is equal to 6. So, to solve this system of equations completely, what we are going to do is solve this equation x plus y equal to 6 and x times y equal to 5 and then solve x plus y equal to 5 and x times y equal to 6. So we are going to solve these two times for four values in total. That is two values of x and two values of y. So the first time we have x plus y is equal to 6 and xy is equal to 5. Once more, from this, we have that x is equal to 6 minus y. 
substituting this into the second equation we have 6 minus y times y is equal to 5 opening brackets we have 6y minus y squared is equal to 5 sending everything over to the right hand side we have that 0 is equal to 5 minus 6y plus y squared once more we can factorize this quadratic equation and we have that the factors of this are 5 and 1 or rather because of the negative sign minus 5 and minus 1 so we have equal to 0 of course minus 5 and y minus 1 from here we have that y minus 5 is equal to 0 or y minus 1 is equal to 0 so we have that y is equal to 5 or 1 now having gotten values for y we go back to this equation to get values of x so we have that when y is equal to 5 x is equal to 6 minus y 6 minus 5 which is 1 and when y is equal to 1 x is equal to 6 minus 1 which is 5 so the first solution pair that we have is Of course, this is what I mean by solution pair. The first solution pair that we have is 1, 5 and 5, 1. Now we solve the second equation. And that is x plus y is equal to and x times y is equal to 6. Now, once again, from this equation, we have that x is equal to 5 minus y. So we can substitute this for x in the second equation. So we have 5 minus y multiplied by y is equal to 6. Expanding, we have 5y minus y squared is equal to 6. Now taking everything over to the right hand side, we have that 0 is equal to 6 minus 5y plus y squared. Once more, we can factorize this quadratic equation and we have the values of or rather the factors of 6 that would add up to minus 5 are minus 2 and minus 3. So we have y minus 2 and y minus 3. Because minus 2 times minus 3 is plus 6. And minus 2 plus minus 3 is minus 5. So from here we have that y minus 2 is equal to 0 or y minus 3 is equal to 0 and we have that y is equal to 2 or 3. Now we come back to this equation. We found values of y so now we find values of x. So when y is equal to 2, x is equal to 5 minus 2 which is equal to 3. And when y is equal to 3, x is equal to 5 minus 3, which is equal to 2. So the second solution set is, remember this is x, 3, 2, and 2, 3. So now we have that the values of x and y that will satisfy these two equations simultaneously are when x is equal to 1, y is equal to 5. When x is equal to 5, y is equal to 1. When x is equal to 2, y is equal to 3. And when x is equal to 3, y is equal to 2.
And with that, we come to the end of today's exercise. I hope you've learned something. I hope you were entertained. See you in the next one.